Hello everyone. This is a video number two for VHDL. In a previous video, we have learned how to write the code in Xilinx using VHDL, how to synthesize it, how to generate RTL schematic. So that was the video number one. And in this video, we are going to learn how to simulate the VHDL code with test bench. So let's start. Click on Xilinx IIC 9.2i icon. Double click here. Click OK here. And now we have to open that project which we have created in video number one. So go to file open project here you can see this was the path and my project name is 41 max so double click here in this folder you can see dot isc so in type xilinx isc project so just click here and open it this is the correct way to open any previous project you can't directly go to this path and double click over there it will not open fine so now let's start here so as uh, we have used synthesis and implementation source to synthesize your code and to generate the rds schematic here now in this uh, to apply the test bench we have to go with the second source that is the behavioral simulation now right click on device not on project right click on device new source here various sources you can see in this window so go with the test bench waveform now assign some name here any name you can assign so let's say test one and now same source location should be there add to project should be checked and go next here you can see the entities so you have to associate you, uh, your test bench file with this entity so it means uh, whichever entity is there for this design so that entity will be available in a test bench file so that you can apply the input and you can check the desired output after simulation so some codes will be having the multiple entities multiple entities so uh, basically in structural modeling style so here we are using a data flow modeling style so only one entity we are having so click on next and this is the short summary of your test bench so test one dot tvw file so type is test bench waveform location same so click on finish here now this will uh, this is the called clock, clock wizard window where we can apply the clock here so we know that multiplexer is the combinational circuit so by default third option is here you can check but let's say for example if you are writing the code for any sequential design circuits for example counter so in that case you need to use clock signal so first option you can use in that sequential design so here we are going with the combinatorial only and keep all other settings as it is and click on finish yeah. so this is a test one dot tbw file so you can check these are our four data input lines and these are the two select input lines and this is your output y so now we have to apply the inputs in data in this uh, data input lines and select input lines here according to your according to your code or the truth table of that design so here we'll open the code first so go to synthesis this is our vhd file and double click here so this is our code and this this is the uh, representation of your truth table actually so whatever uh, truth table is there for forest one marks so that uh, we have represented here 
right with the help of our truth table so just we have uh, represent, uh, represented in our code of the tabular representation of your 4s to 1 multiplexer design so when select input is 0 0 your i0 first data input line should be selected so now again go to behavioral simulation and this is your test bench file fine so now we'll start applying inputs here in this window in this test bench file so now first is when select input is 0 0 so by this moving vertical strider you will have the binary values here so select input is 0 0 first data input line that is i0 should be selected and at next event 200 nanosecond i'm keeping it to the op state or the zero state fine so here you can see check when 0 0 input first data input line selected so according to your code according to your code we are applying the test bench here next for 0 1 input for 0 1 input second data input line should be selected that is i1 so here at 200 nanosecond i'm making transition from 0 to 1 and at 300 it is a 1 to 0 so this is your second possible combinations right? yeah so for zero one input your second data input line i1 is selected that is a one similarly third that is one zero i2 should be selected so third possible input combination for select input one zero third data input line that is i1 i2 is selected here. and for other conditions so what is an other condition we know so only one one is left so here one i1 is select one is already one here i'm making transition from zero to one so now this is fourth possible input combination for one one here i3 should be selected and at 500 nanosecond i'm keeping it to the zero state similarly select input also zero so all inputs we are keeping to the zero at 500 nanosecond so we know the uh, operation of multiplexer how it works whenever it selects any data input line at the output side so that time output should be high so this output y should be high so if i'm clicking over here you can check what it's showing signal y is an output signal and cannot be changed so this should generate up to simulation so this is these are the inputs which we have applied according to our code according to our truth table of that particular design now how to simulate this test bench file so now still that file is not showing in this behavioral simulation so once you save this file by pressing ctrl s this will appear over here you can check in source window Control S. So yes, test one dot tbw file. Now that file is appearing over here. So come to the process window. How to simulate this test bench file? So if I'm clicking on project, that simulator is unavailable. Again, if I'm clicking on device, again it is not showing over here in process window. But if I'm clicking on dot tbw files just single click so the yes xilinx iic simulator is showing over here now split this simulator and simulate behavioral model so double click on behavioral model so it will take some time and it generates the simulated output here okay we'll check it here, here now according to our truth table what should be the output so at 100 nanosecond we have selected first data input line for select input 0 0 yeah. right select input 0 0 i 0 is 1 so that time you can check output what is output here high that means whenever multiplexer select any one data input line that time output will be in a on state or logic one state or high state so next for 0 1 second data input line selected one so output is again one 
one zero third data input line selected output is again one for one one fourth data input line is selected and that time output is one and at 500 nanosecond you can check all inputs we are giving it to the zero so output is also zero so this is how uh, multiple uh, multiplexer works practically so same output or the desired output which you have observed here in simulated output of this code so this is the step number two so i hope you understood uh, the operation or how to apply the test bench in the xilinx using vhdl over here so short summary here source we have used behavioral simulation we have created test bench file by double clicking on uh, by right clicking on device selected source test bench waveform test bench waveform and then assign some name to this file and go next and after that it will uh, show the clock wizard window so if your circuit if your design is combinational then by default third option is there so just uh, click on next and complete the procedure but if you are uh, writing the code for any sequential design circuits for example counter then we have to use the clock there so use clock signal and click on next so that was the uh, first step which we have done in the test bench now it will create this dot tbw file apply the test benches apply the inputs according to your truth table of that particular design as per your code so basically we are uh, we are describing our truth table into the into the code using with select statement here you can see so this is the concurrent statement which comes under the data flow modeling style and once you apply the input in dot tbw file we have simulated the we have simulated the test bench same test bench file in xilinx isc simulator so it will generate the simulated output and it is like this so you can check in your source folder as well here so this was this is our source folder c xilinx 9.2 and 41 max so you can check a uh, test one how many extensions files are created over here jhd tbw so this is our, our main file test bench file here this is your simulated behavioral file that is application file so how many files are creating in this source folder okay. so i hope you understood the step number two how to simulate with test bench So I have you understood uh, this video how to apply how to simulate the VHDL code by applying the test bench here. Thank you.